Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. So in my previous video, I have created this ground floor plan and in this video, I will create doors and will fix these doors in this floor plan. So don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon to never miss any updates. So let's get started. So this is the floor plan which I have already created. So here this side is this is 57 feet move this towards this side okay now another side is this is 3 feet distance okay this is 35 feet 2 inch okay so this side is 57 feet and this side is 35 feet 2 inch okay now this is the line plan so in this line plan by mistakely i have taken 10 inch extra here so i'll reduce this by stretch command okay so take stretch command s s is the shortcut key of stretch command s enter now select this side now 10 inch 10 enter okay now this is 57 feet okay so this is the line plan okay so this is the floor plan this side is 57 feet and on the side is 35 feet 2 inch okay so first i'll calculate the area okay so to area calculation so first select all the outer lines select the outer lines first i'll calculate the area first so to calculate area, I need to select the outer line first. Okay. So copy this. Copy. Okay. Now I'll close all the boundaries by fillet command. So F enter. Now close this close this so fillet this close this now close this side okay now trim this and trim this side okay now i'll calculate area so check boundary so bo enter now pick point click inside enter now a boundary is created here okay so now I'll use list command. So L I enter. Now select this enter. So this is the area. Okay. 2014 square feet. Okay. 2014 square feet. This is the area. Okay. So, so I'll write it. I'll write this here ground floor plan and area is 2014 square feet okay so area is 2014 square feet now I'm delete this so now i'll create doors and we'll fix the doors here okay so these are the doors d t1 d2 d3 okay so i'll create the door here so this is four feet okay this is d four feet so first make door layer as current layer okay now door layer is in current layer so I'll use line command so L enter now specific first point here now this side I'm taking 2 inch now again this side 2 inch now this side 1 inch now again this side 2 inch now this is 3 inch now 
4 inch enter okay so this is the frame okay this is the door frame okay now I'll block this now I'll rename the block D now select enter okay so this is the door frame now I'll copy this to this side. Now I'll rotate this. Okay. Now select and mirror this. All right. So now. I'll move this to this point. Okay. Select and move this point to this point. This is the best point. Okay. Now select and mirror to this side. Mirror to this side. Okay. Now move this to here. Okay. Now select move this point to this point okay so this is the door frame now check a rectangle okay rec enter draw a rectangle from this point to this point okay this is the rectangle now i rotate this so this is the door okay now I rotate this Now rotate this. Okay. Now I'll draw a circle here. So take a circle from this point to this point. Okay. Take a circle from here to here. Okay. Now I'll trim extra lines. Trim. Trim here and trim here. Trim here. Okay. Now I'll delete this. Now see, door is created. Door with door frame is created here. Now I'll block this. Okay. Now block. Now rename the, specify the block name here. Okay. Now select. enter okay now okay okay so this is the door is created okay hope you understand how to create the frame with the door okay now with same procedure i'll create another doors okay so copy this Okay, see I am showing everything very slowly. Okay, so I will copy this frame. First, I will move. Now I move to this point. Okay, now I will do mirror this. This is the frame. I will mirror to another side. So mirror to this side. Make orthogon. Mirror. Make ortho un and mirror to this side. Enter. Okay. Now directly move this to this point. Okay. Now I move this again. This is the best point. Okay. Click here. Sorry. Move this to here. Okay. So now this is the frame. Now take a rectangle here. R E C from this point to this point. Okay, so this is the door. Now I'll rotate this. Select, rotate from this point. Rotate. Okay. Now draw a circle here. Take a circle. Okay. Check first point here and second point here. Okay. 
now trim extra lines trim here and trim here okay now delete the extra lines okay see same procedure okay now rename the block select so this is d2 okay click on okay okay so d and d2 is created okay so now i'll create d3 so copy the frame select copy the frame I rotate this so I am showing everything very slowly so that it will be easy to understand okay I'll move this to this point okay now I'll mirror this select and mirror to another side enter and move this okay now take a rectangle here same procedure from this point to this point now rotate this okay now draw a circle here from this point to this point now trim extra lines trim here and trim here now delete this now i'll create block okay i'll block this now block this i need to make this single entity okay so click on ok so this is d3 ok so d d2 and d3 is create d3 these three doors are created now i'll create d1 ok so this is the door frame so rotate this now move this sorry mirror this move this to this point and mirror this to this point okay now again i move this move this to this point okay now draw a rectangle here same procedure Take a rectangle R E C enter specify first point here and second point here. Now rotate this. Rotate from this point. Now draw a draw a circle from this point to this point. Okay. Now trim extra lines. Trim here and trim here. Now delete this. So this is the D1. Now I'll block this. I'll make the single entity. Okay. So I'll make it single entity. So select, select this, select this, and select this. Okay. Click on OK. So this is D1. Okay. So D1, D, D2 and D3, all the doors are created now. Okay. So this is D3, I'll copy this. I'll just simply mirror this. Okay. Now I'll move this. I'll move this point to this point. So this is D3. So now I'll copy other doors. So I have already created 
this four doors I'll copy this to another this is D2 okay so I'll copy all the doors to other door openings okay so I'll copy this so I'll rotate this and move this mirror this then move this move this point to this point okay so this is d2 you just create all the doors of different size then fix in door openings okay this is D2, D1, D3, D and D2, D3. Okay. So in this side, I have created and fixed all the doors. Now I'll simply mirror all the doors to another side. Okay. Now these are no longer required. So delete this. This is D3. D2, D, D3, D1, D2. Okay. So I'll simply mirror to another side. Okay. So select this. D3, select this. This is D2. This is D. Select this. This is D3. <coughs> this is D1 and this is D2. Select all. Now I'll mirror. Okay. Mirror to another side. Okay, this is the same one by scan single room. So I'll mirror to another side. Okay, mirror, enter. See, in this side, all the doors are fixed. This is D3, D2, D, D3. This is D1, and this is d2 okay so we have fixed all the doors so now you can change the door color also okay you can change the door colors color also if you want i'll keep this white you can keep green also. Whatever color you want, you can change. Okay. But I'll keep this white. Alright. So this is. I fixed all the doors. Okay. So in my next video. I'll provide column in this floor plan. So this is the ground floor plan. Okay. So hope you like this video. So in my next video, I'll provide columns and stop columns. Okay. So hope you like this video. Now if you like this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.